probably five, six years ago. Um, my background is uh, construction and I was doing a ton of home repairs for other agents. And I was just seeing a lot of young people get into these homes that they really shouldn't have been buying for uh, either cost or uh, maintenance mainly was, you know, people a lot of times don't understand like, hey, this roof is going to cost $26,000 to repair after you're already paying a hefty mortgage payment. And just always kind of nagged at me that I feel like I could make a difference here. Um, in addition to, I just feel that uh, the emotion of regret is much stronger than failure. And I was, I was very prepared to fall on my face, which I knew I could make it if I worked that hard. That to me is better than being 60 and saying, I should have, you know, or I wish I would have. Uh, one thing I always tell people is not to worry because you do always find the right house and it always works itself out. So it's super emotional, super frustrating at times. A lot of people cry, you know, a lot of times uh, maybe the wife is pregnant or the husband starts a new job in a month or their lease is, you know, coming due or something like that. And I just feel as you go along with life, like things just generally work themselves out. And uh, so when you walk into that house that you know is the one, it, everybody seems to know it without even saying it. Like it's just someone will maybe make a noise or something like that and uh, you just know, you know. Uh, went above and beyond, probably. Um, I help a lot of my people move after the fact uh, because like I said, I was in construction. I have the means to do things like that. I have trailers. Um, I just take a lot of pride in taking my job maybe two or three steps past what most people will do. Uh, I've worked with clients until midnight to make sure their house was ready, painted, you know, done it on my own dime per se, brought my own tools. Uh, just you see so many people in that situation where it's like, I need to get these 12 little things done. Who do I call? Well, maybe there's no one to call because you got a list next week. I'll just take care of it.